Hi guys, so I'm back from my first ever weigh-in after one week of being on the Slimming World diet and um, I have lost one tiny weeny minuscule pound. Um, to say that I am a little bit gutted is an understatement. I am really, really gutted. I am so gutted that I actually nearly cried, which is really stupid, I know. But I just felt so disheartened. I've been to the gym four times this week. Four times. For an hour each time. I've done the cross trainer. I've done the treadmill. I've been on the weights. I've, I've been on the rowing machine. I've given it such a lot. I took a Zumba class this morning. Um... And, you know, I've been running around after my kids the whole week. So, I guess I was kind of hoping for more than that. I know I've had a few little cheats. Not cheats, but mistakes. I've made a few mistakes um, so far on my Slimming World plan. So, maybe that was it. I don't know. But I kind of was hoping for a little bit more. You know, I said that if I'd maintained, or even if I'd... I'd put on weight, I would have been really upset. But I guess I kind of had higher hopes for myself for this first week. You know, sometimes you hear of people, I don't know, some of the people there have lost six pounds in their first week, or four pounds, or whatever. A pound? Oh, really? Still, um, I stayed for the entire thing, and um, after the weigh-in, we do this... Um, what do they call it? Image something? Oh God, I can't remember. But anyway, well basically we listen to the consultant and we exchange ideas and um, you know, kind of motivate each other and I really needed that motivation and it worked, it really has worked because even though I'm really disappointed with the actual result, it's just a number on a scale, right? I knew that this this was just going to be the first week of many, so, you know, at the end of the day, the show must go on, and I'm just going to get back on track, and um <laughs> looking forward, <laughs> excuse you, sorry, this is my, my dog in the corner there, just sneezed, um, okay, so, right back on track, I'm just going to give it all this week, and, um, and just pray that, you know, a miracle happens, and I end up losing... A little bit extra next week. I don't know. I'm really impatient, aren't I? Oh, God. The thing is, I don't really need to reach my goal in in my head. You know, I've set myself a date, and that's the 1st of June. That's when I want to reach my goal. That's when I want to weigh £150. And that is when I want to be able to wear nice clothes and feel good because we're going to Italy on the 1st of June as a family and, and I just really, really want to be able to look back on those holiday photos and not feel ashamed and, you know, that's what I want. And that's ages away. We're only in January now, so I'm being realistic. So why do I have to be so impatient about it? Why can't I just go, oh, okay, I've still got ages. If I lose a pound a week between now and then, I'll do it, right? I mean, it's... I have, what, now 20, I think I have 24 pounds to lose now. I don't know, I need to work this out. It's going to be my next job. But I need to work it out, but I think I have about 24 pounds to lose and about 24 weeks. So if I lose a pound a week, hey presto, I will achieve it. So, you know, I just need to kind of um, weigh it up in my head. <laughs> Pardon the pun. Anyway, I'm now off to have my dinner. See, I didn't even eat dinner before I went to the weigh-in because I was hoping that that would help. Clearly it didn't. It's a good job as well because can you imagine if I had eaten my dinner, I might have even put on weight. <laughs> so, I'm going to go and have my dinner and I'm not going to feel too down about it. I'm just going to, you know, put it behind me and think, this week I'm going to try and do even better because I really want a sticker or a certificate <laughs> or something. How stupid is that? Anyway, thank you for watching. Um, please subscribe if you are watching. And, um, you know, I'd really, really appreciate the support because it would really help with the um, keeping motivated and stuff. So, anyway, thanks, guys. <coughs> Goodbye. Say bye, amigo. <laughs>